where they want it to. Yeah. You know, I mean. You know, it, you know it, it's. You know, it'd be more than just a near tag. Oh, yeah. So to speak. Well, you know, I, I just find yeah. it's, it's so, you know, since, you know, Roger Lear passed on. And so far, it, I, unless I'm wrong, I haven't found anybody that stepped up to, you know, go on to uh, what he was doing about removing. No, implants. nobody has that I know of either. Yeah. It's kind of sad. And, you know, unless they're being done, you know, discreetly, you know, I think, uh, I think, uh, even like I said, when I was with Dr. Lear and trying to be on programs and doing things, that that was, uh, some of the things that, uh, you know, kind of, sneakily were you know showing up now that i can look back on it from from some 20 years ago and see whatever things i you know that it it's a little bit more that way yeah it, it, i'm just wondering but, what type of information that the aliens are looking to get i mean hey we do you know we do put transponders on you know animals and fish and all kinds of you know wildlife uh, I'm just wondering what they're trying to gather on humans. Now, the guests I had on last night, you know, we were talking about, you know, abductions and aliens and do they really exist? And, you know, from all the information and research he, he has gotten that, yes, we're being visited by aliens. Again, he kind of went on the impression they're not here to serve man because, you know, uh, some people have claimed, you know, uh, Timothy, when they have been abducted, that these aliens gave them a whole bunch of information, gave them a whole bunch of abilities, and, like, they see orbs, and they said that the aliens are here, you know, and they're friendly. But, you know, like we were talking last night, the aliens haven't stopped any of the ice flows uh, in Antarctica of breaking up. Uh, you know, uh, the climate change is going on. They haven't done anything to try to help mankind, and it makes me just wonder what they're, you know, are really here for. Well, yeah, that's an interesting question, you know, what they're here for. That was one of the things uh, when I was talking to Mr. Daryl Sims and, you know, that I thought of, he said, well, they've been coming here a long time and they're still coming here. There must be something they want. Of course, maybe there's several things they want. And, you know, it all depends on, on where they're looking at, you know, and all depends, you know, all depends on uh, what kind of aliens we're, we may be encountering as to what, we want they want you know uh my feeling is uh you know uh, you still have a strange strangeness to the universe and of course like i said if you were a cyborg being without say a what i've just seen it what's called the mother factor i mean here you're looking at something uh you're coming from a different whole uh uh agenda referendum anyway you know it's something that you and I wouldn't think of, you know, if you're a super artificial intelligence and you're looking for something out of, say, natural born beings, you know, of, say, the consciousness to the unknown mind, you know, I mean, it's, you, you st it starts getting interesting. Well, yeah, but considering, you know, we were talking last night, they don't know how, you know, the, we were brought up, you know, in our generation and the generation before and the current generation, but we have different type of morals and things like that we don't know how they think and you know they could look at us as no more than we look at you know ants you know on a driveway running across your you know driveway well yeah that could be true to a great extent but i think more to it's a you know it's kind of trying to make it say make a connection between uh you know our existence is based on millions of years of of a total existence, so to speak. And maybe if they're an artificial intelligence, I mean, and wherever they're from, and they were created, say, uh, 15,000 years ago, you see, then their span is there, and they have to, you know, but artificial intelligence is, a, I kind of got in looking at that a little bit. It's kind of a scary, real scary phenomenon in a way. Oh, yeah, it is. So, you know, you, you run into that, you know, I mean, uh, and you, you wonder what, you know, exponentially increase itself. So you wonder what kind of what you're looking for and what they're, you know, looking for. Uh, maybe to make themselves better machines to understand what people are. 
you know, to me, that's kind of something that's still out there. Yeah. You, know, you but, have to look at. But you would think you about. Know, Timothy, you think about all the years these abductions have been going on and implants that were going on. I would think, you know, oh, I, well, yeah, it is, I mean, it's scary because I would think they would got the information they wanted unless they have another motive. Well, unless it's unless it's hard to get, you know, I mean, uh, I still go, you know, the un- the universe is stranger than we imagine and stranger than, than we can imagine. And I'm I would imagine it could hold true for um, extraterrestrials, too. Yeah, I mean, uh. You know, if you knew everything, you'd, you know, I won't make any smart political white press, but if you knew everything, you know, then there would be no problems. Oh, I, you know, tell I mean, me that. You know, it's it's like artificial intelligence, you know. A, a creature like that could probably remember everything that ever came in, to, that was fed into him. But, you know, I mean, but like, say, learning about, you know, the other things, you know. Uh, like I said, I've had things that are to the paranormal that really happened to me, and I don't, you know. Uh, I don't think that's completely extraterrestrial. So we get into that area, you know, where it gets strange, you know. It's kind of like a, a, you know, quantum physics, and you have two particles doing the same thing in two different parts of the universe, you know, type type of a situation. I mean, it's, I can't say that I know because <laughs> there's no way for me to know. Yeah. It wasn't designed for... It wasn't designed for me to know either, you know, so to speak. Well, you know, what I find interesting is, you know, we were talking before you investigated a couple of cattle mutilations and the guests I had on last night, we were in talking about human mutilations, you know, where they were been abducted and then, you know, mm-hmm. the same way with the cattle. And he's actually, you know, investigated some of the cases, looked at some of the pictures the same way I have, because I got some of these pictures on my computer loaded that well, you know, has happened like in the rainforest and uh, then Argentina, Brazil and a few other places uh, out in the middle of the jungles of people that have been, you know, abducted and then, you know, had their tongues, heart removed, eyes removed, uh, sex glands removed, all this stuff, laser precision that, you know, we can't even do in a hospital, and they're out in the jungle. And, and and when you see these type of pictures, it really scares you because, you know, I, I don't know, if, you know, they, it would have to be either the military or, you know, uh, I hate to say it, aliens or something. And, it, yeah. again, the amount of people who claim that they have been abducted has really been growing lately. And I'm just wondering, the people that... They're those people who, well, who talk about it are the lucky ones. They they survived it. But, you know, we were talking again last night. Yeah. All these people have gone vanishing, you know, like worldwide. That's right. There's over you know? 300,000 people a year That's right. disappearing. And no trace. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, Gary. I mean, I'm, you know, I, I'm outside, I don't, but I'm knocking on wood because, uh, you know, that's, yeah, that's right, you know. But, you know, I've, I've kind of seen it, but I've never been directly too involved in it. Now, I've looked at some mutilated animals, so I kind of know what that is, you know, and and can, uh, you know, first person verify for that. But like I say, human mutilation, I'm, I'm sure, uh, you know, that it probably has happened, you know, and there could be some copycat. I don't know. I mean, that's, yeah, it's, it's interesting. And, uh. You know, like I said, it's just like, uh, you know, they got the big area, the good storm area 51 and get some stuff. Well, it really doesn't matter because if the aliens wanted to come and get it, it's gone. Oh, yeah. I mean, they're, 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 I mean they, the government, whatever they want to say, and you know, the, the book's already closed. I mean, uh, we're, we're the severe underdogs, and, you know, they can make all the posture they want. But uh, anybody that, re- you know, that truly knows some things just says no, that that doesn't, that's no, uh, you know, you might be able to make a little bit of a ruckus, but, you, you know, that's. Uh, well, I will say, the, since you mentioned, you know, that this big thing has been going on on not just Facebook, but everywhere in the news, Storm Area 51. I, I got to I put my input on that. I have to. Don't do it. Okay, number one, if anybody out there is thinking about going and storming with the group of people of Area 51, please, 
don't do it. You're not going to get disclosure by storming Area 51. No, and you're not really. You're not going to find anything. Like I said, if the aliens, if the aliens want us to keep it, we get to keep it. If they don't want us to keep it, they come and get it. Oh yeah. Now, I mean, the government can say whatever they want, but the facts are that they can come and get it, and you know, without hesitation. You know, well, that's not, but uh, the, it might it might take a, it might take them a couple of days, but if they really want it that bad, then they will come and take it. Well, that nobody will know. And yeah, but that's not the part that scares me. Back here two months yeah, ago, I, or two and a half months ago, there was a guy who went into with the gate, one of the main gates at Area Fifty One, carrying a cylinder type thing wrapped with a tarp. He made it just past the uh, uh, the armed uh, guard post, and they shot him dead. And that was it. And now, well, p- people out there that are thinking about storming 51, please don't do it because it's not worth one life. And no, they're, under, no. they're under strict orders, okay, on Area 51. This like any major military, especially secret military sure. bases. You trespass on it, you're dead. And it's not worth it. Yeah. It's not worth to be arrested and get a felony on you. And, you or, know, yeah. it's, it's not and worth we it. we have a little bit better option in this country on that because a lot of countries, if you really violate the military, they just shoot you dead anyway, you know, and, and at least here you get a half a chance to get some warning sometimes. Oh, yeah. But, but, uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, if people, that's, but if the, the Einstein, Einstein idea. Yeah, well, the, you know, I, I, I have to say this, if all the people who are involved on this so-called Area 51, you know, walk on, should write their Congress and their senators and the president. That's and if that That's amount correct. of people responded, if they had a million people all of a sudden sit there writing yeah. to each senator saying, I want disclosure, okay, that would make the government step up or, and take notice. I want some information. I want honest information. You know, I see we have a congressman that wrote uh, wanting to know what the Navy is doing, you know, with the, uh, uh, on the uh, Nimitz deal on the new report, Navy's new rules for reporting UFOs. Uh, Mark uh, Warner from, like, I think, North Carolina, is that right? I hope, yes, yes. You know, wrote a letter. Of course, like I said, uh, over the years, I've approached several co- Colorado congressmen. Cory Gardner was the latest, and, you know, I'm still waiting for <laughs> anything. And, uh, you know, it's sad uh, that, you know, that it, we're, we're in this situation in this country with 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 this uh, uh, subject. Well, you must face it. You know, I, again, you know, that's why I wanted to bring you on. And then I have uh, Penny Bradley's coming on after you is, you know, okay. the, 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 for months now, uh, before I had my uh, injury for two or three months before that, everybody was okay. saying, oh, this big uh, disclosure is going to be breaking huge disclosure. And, and you know what? The big disclosure never happened. And I've been, you no. know, broadcasting off and on since 1976. So I, 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 I'm quite familiar about it's going to be disclosure tomorrow. But this time it was really like a frenzy. And the only major disclosure ever came out is that the Navy said that they will investigate reports from the pilots. And the Pentagon yeah. said they will investigate. But you know what? That's no more than when they and had they, a project. Uh, and, pro- and they've been doing it for that long anyway, you know. Yeah. So I. You I know, it's. The only thing I saw yeah. about this major disclosure is a lot of people manage to write books and sell books on UFO disclosure. Uh, and well, got them that's out there a lot of it. Well, was, I'd say they did, they did go, what was the, uh, the terminology, UAP, Unidentified un- Aero Phenomena, you know, that type of a deal. But, yeah, uh, it's it's sad. You know, especially like me, there's a couple of deals. I've I've actually approached Cory Gardner with uh, some, what I consider... Uh, modifiable evidence and you know i got nothing so uh you know i i wasn't really expecting anything but i was hoping i'd get a little more than i got but uh even his predecessor uh, uh allard didn't you know uh, you know sure you know show me some fortitude you know i mean that's all i'm asking for you know just say well we got this or that or do this or that or like I said, that Dr. Lear's research, I mean, it was always interesting. Well, I, I mean, think... Uh, I could, think have had, could have had something for organ transplants, and um, I've seen nothing in 20 years. So, you know, it's, it's, 
yeah, it leaves a bad taste in my mouth. Well, you know, I, I 